it was called uh, Little Manhattan or Manhattan by the Indians, and that meant Little Island or, or Little Manhattan is what it was. The name comes from the Dutch settlers. Uh, the sailors would, would name come Collie out um, on the river, and they would bring their freshmen sailors with them, and they would get them drunk, and they would uh, make them swim to the island. And they did this because the island was considered haunted along with the Hudson Highlands. The Hudson Highlands here was haunted by the ear of Dunderberg, from Dunderberg Mountain all the way up to here. And Polypo Island would have been the place where they could, um, um, they, they could get away from them. So what they do is they left them here and left them drunk, and then they would go up and they would have safe passage up through the Newburgh Bay. And when they came back, they would come back and they used something that would look like a ladling device. And they, so the palapal is sieve in Dutch, so it's like a ladle. And the island supposedly looks like a ladle. I don't think it looked like a ladle, but it is what it is. Hell, who, um, who uh, lived in Fishkill, she had a, her father had a farm, and there were, her young farmhand uh, was in love with her named uh, Gert Brinkerhoff. And Gert Brinkerhoff would come to Polly and say to her, we want to run away and get married. See, there was a, there was a problem. Polly was betrothed to be married by her, um, by her father to the young Reverend Paul Vernon. But she wasn't in love with him. So um, Gert says to her, Polly, let's run away. You should be happy. You don't have to marry this man. She says, no, I have to obey my father's wishes. If I don't obey my father's wishes, I don't know what will happen. So he said, okay. So he would follow her wherever they would go. And um, he would be their shadow. I guess it would be the, uh, the, the colonial version of a stalker. I don't know. I'm, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. So, so in the meantime, it's winter. And the Hudson River is an estuary tide, tidal. Uh, it, the wave, the tides come in and they go out. So you're going to get three feet to four feet difference in the way the, the, uh, the river flows up or down. So um, Polly um, is asked to run away and she says, no, I can't do it. So it's winter time and the ice freezes solid across the winter. In the 30s, they used to have the ice road from Cold Spring to, uh, to uh, West Point and you used to drive trucks across it. It was so deep. The ice was so deep. Now you're lucky if you get three or four inches, and you're lucky if you go through it. Well, um, the uh, Reverend Vernon said, Polly, let's go on a sleigh ride on, my, on the frozen Hudson River, and uh, we'll have a grand time. And Brinker says, no, Polly, don't go. The ice is melting, and if it melts and, uh, and it breaks through, you'll go under the ice, and I'll never see you again. It's just, and, of course, uh, Reverend Vernon says, don't worry, Polly, I'll protect you. Uh, nothing will happen while you're with me, of course, you know how that goes. Well, they're on the river, and there's several stories about this. One is that the Reverend, that uh, Brinkerhoff is following him on ice skates up the river. Another one is that he's jumping from ice flow to ice flow or running with a rope and tow across the, across the river. And, um, he, and sure enough, he follows them, and the ice breaks through, and the horse and sleigh go through. He releases the horse and the sled, and he manages to drag Polly and the Reverend Vernon onto a large piece of pancake ice. They get on the ice and they float down river. This island wasn't named at the time. And um, he gets them onto the island. And when he gets on the island, Polly throws her arms, runs out, and there comes Reverend Vernon. She passes him and throws her arms around Brinkerhoff. Well, the Reverend Vernon was heartbroken because he realized she would never love him. So he marries them on the spot. No. And, um, and uh, that's how uh, the island supposedly gets. Of course, there's a story in the story of Bannerman Island by Charles S. Bannerman, the grandson, saying that he realized they would have to spend the night together, so he married him. So, uh, 